As we venture into September, we'll continue to bring weekly updates from the Ministry of Health. This week, as we commemorate the Amerindian Heritage Month, here's what we've been up to. On Tuesday, August the 29th, the Honorable Minister of Health, Dr. Frank Anthony, attended the National Tushal Conference, where he presented some of the ministry's major initiatives currently being undertaken, particularly in Regions 1, 7, 8, and 9. While making these presentations, Dr. Anthony had this to say. So in 2022, uh, we gave to each of the regions approximately $100 million. And in Region 1, they spent that $100 million to upgrade at least 35 uh, health facilities. This is predominantly health posts and health centers in the region. In Region 7, we also gave $100 million and they used their money to upgrade 16 facilities. Region 8, another $100 million was given to that region and they used their money to upgrade 23 uh, health centers and health posts. And in Region 9, they used their 100 million to do 53 different facilities across the region. This year, we have increased the amount of money that we have been giving to the regions. So this year, each region would receive approximately $200 million and for the $200 million that Regions 1 would receive, it would do additional upgrades to health centers, health posts, and some of the hospitals in the region. But in addition to that, we have asked them to use at least 100 of the $200 million to make sure that they can upgrade the accommodation for healthcare workers. So be it a doctor, nurse, a community health worker that they can use at least half of the money to do the upgrade in accommodations. In Region 7, similarly, they receive $200 million and they have decided to spend the money on 22 facilities, which would include half of which would be um, health centers and health posts, and the other would be for accommodation. Uh, in Regions 8, they would be using the money on 21 health facilities and in Region 9, they would be using this money on 18 health facilities. The two-day conference was held at the Arthur Chung Convention Center. While at the Nunatal Conference held at the Arthur Chung Convention Center on Saturday, September 2nd, Dr. Anthony stated that Guyana has seen significant decline in infant mortality rate in the recent years. We have come a long way where uh, our infant mortality rates are, are dropping and that is because of the work that we have put in across the country to make sure that we can identify early uh, some of the challenges and try to rectify them. This conference was a collaborative effort between the Ministry of Health and the Healthy Kids Organization, a Canada-based agency that have been working closely with the public health sector for the last decade. On the set day, he also attended the Heritage Village held in the Luluni Village on the Linmin Suzak Highway. On the following day, the Minister of Health attended a fitness walk hosted by the Amerindian Affairs in celebration of the Amerindian Heritage Month. He encouraged all Guyanese to take full advantage of the medical attribution provided by the Ministry of Health at the healthcare facilities. This month is a very important month. It's a month when we celebrate our Amerindian brothers and sisters, their contributions, their achievements, and also to get an understanding of the vision and where they want to go. And so far, I think, going to some of the activities, you can see that quite a lot has been done in terms of the transformation. In the health sector, there's a lot of work that we're doing with the Ministry of Amerindian Affairs and we want to make sure that people take full advantage of the kinds of things that we are doing. On Monday, September 4th, Minister Anthony met with a team from the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, to discuss strategy geared at eliminating acquired immune deficiency syndrome, sexual transmitted infection, hepatitis, tuberculosis by 2030. 
During the meeting, Area of Rapid Assignments of Health Information System for HIV, Hepatitis, TB Information System, and Recommendation with Pacific Action to support the development of future health information system were discussed. On Tuesday, September 5th, the Honorable Minister received a fair courtesy call from the United States Ambassador to Guyana, Ms. Sarah Ann Lynch, at the office on Brick Dam. Dr. Anthony thanked Ms. Lynch for her significant contribution to the public health sector, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic during her scenes in Guyana. He wishes her much success as she departs for her new position at the Southern Command in the United States. On Wednesday, Dr. Anthony attended the opening of a three-day training on Guyana New Standards on Diabetes Guideline for Primary Health Care at the Pegasus Savannah Suites in Kingston. This launch is a collaborative effort between the Ministry of Health Chronic Disease Unit and the Mount Sinai Health System. Through this initiative, healthcare professionals will use HbA1c tests to measure average blood sugar level over a three months period. HbA1c is the most commonly used test to diagnose prediabetes and diabetes. During his future address, the minister indicated that the ministry is working on developing a wellness unit which will be focused on prevention and educating the public on positive health-seeking behavior to prevent non-communicable diseases. Yesterday, the physiotherapy department commemorated a World Physiotherapy Day. They hosted a hydrotherapy group activity for patients with arthritis at the National Aquatic Center, located at Liliondal, East Coast Nemeraro. This has brought us to the end of this weekend review. Stay tuned and we'll be back next week.